You are in the Temple of the Rants, where I rant about whatever my $15 a month plus patrons want me to rant about. You can get one of these by becoming one of those. This one's for a cryptid named Eli, who says, Rant about Caro Caro Bonito, a.k.a. the best experimental pop band in the game. Their old shit sounds like J-pop mixed with hip-hop and chip tunes, while their new shit has elements of Melt Banana and Clarence Clarity. Links for your five minutes of research. I don't have to do that. I already know about uh, Caro Caro Benito. Pretty fun band. They are, uh, you know, a British band with a, I think, half-Japanese lead singer who alternates between singing in Japanese and English. Um, they have a very bright bubblegum sound that's instantly grabbing. It's, it's sort of cheeky and cutesy, but not overly kitsch. There's definitely a strong element of, you know, musicality behind it. Some pretty experimental song structures and stuff. Uh, if you're not familiar with songs like It's time for my graduation I've done my dissertation Even bought a hat I can throw Which, um, you know, uh, best guy ever, Nate, is a, a huge fan of Caro Caro Benito and he uses their music in some of his videos from time to time. Um, I was never able to really get into them. It was always one of those things that's like tangential to something I would listen to but didn't quite grab me. But their latest album actually interested me a lot, which is a much more shoegazy type of experimental album. And it sounds it sounds like if the band Sweet Trip released a new album all of a sudden. And uh, I know that won't mean anything to a lot of people because they're probably even less known than Caro Caro Benito. But uh, Sweet Trip was a band who... I think they only did three albums between like the late 90s and the mid-2000s. And... Their third album is all right, but it, it, it wasn't as interesting as their, their previous two. It was kind of going in a more pop direction, but I just don't think that their vocalist was quite strong enough to deliver on it, and uh, the album just kind of doesn't have enough cohesion across it to be interesting, which, I mean, their previous albums were so eclectic that that was the intrigue, but in this case, Caro Caro Bonito, basically it sounded like they took that third album and made it work, is the way I felt. I mean, the sound is so spot on to the sound of that album that it was it was trippy, and it was kind of like, wow, they, they fixed the third Sweet Trip album. So if that means anything to you, check out the latest Caro Caro Bonito album. I know it's kind of a departure because it's less bubblegummy, less poppy than the stuff that they're better known for, so I don't know as, if as many of their fans will care for it as I did. But if you're in the same boat as me of having not necessarily resonated with their sound until this point, you know, maybe check that one out because it's a little bit different. But yeah, I mean, I, I have plenty of respect for them. I think they have a, a strong, you know, sonic and visual aesthetic that comes through in their work. Um, clearly a very fun band that a lot of people like. Check them out.